So rain gardens, let's talk about that real quick. Um, areas that capture stormwater uh, via depression or basin. This would also be uh, used for a uh, gray water system or in conjunction with a gray water system. Uh, you want to plant native plants that can withstand a lot of moisture and increase nutrients because when you get a lot of runoff, you, usually that's more uh, nutrient dense and allows water to infiltra infiltrate the soil. Okay, so let's look at some examples. So water is flowing, you know, from left to right, and what they've made is a catch basin. And what they've put in there is plants that do fine with lots of water, and then what it's able to soak in. Okay, that's the basic concept of a rain garden. So this would be a great use. You could use this as for a gray water system or just a rain garden to help catch. So if you've got some areas with some extra uh, pooling, might maybe a rain garden is, is in order. There's another example. Obviously, it's meant to, to capture quite a bit of water, and then it's going to soak in. Okay, gardening, mulch, everybody knows, right? You got a, you got a mulch, heavy mulch, heavy mulch, and it's great for um, moisture retention and keeping the soil warm, although in the springtime it actually s slows it from warming a little bit. But um, overall, excellent, a must. Uh, great using gray water in your gardens. Drip or soaker irrigation is, uh, I think, the best. On the left is drip. On the right is soaker. Um, drip is a little bit more specific, a little bit more detailed, a little bit more intensive to uh, set up. And, and you really, in this environment, you really got to kind of break it down in the winter, too. That's why we're fans of soaker hoses. It's just easy. It's just easy. Um, and then installing gardens on contour. I mean, we've been talking about that a lot today, whether it's swales or anything else. Gardens on contour. I mean, yeah, if you're, if you're really flat, if you're, then it doesn't really matter. Uh, but if you've got a little bit, even a little bit of slope, gardening on contour can really help. And then there's this thing called xeriscaping. Everybody ever heard of that? Okay. Vegas, Arizona. It's mainly for drier climates, but we can learn some principles from that. So here, here's the gardens that are on contour. Okay, they're just, um, they're just, they're just going to go with the land, and that, that way the water's going to soak in just a little bit more. Um, it used to be completely common to farm on contour. Mm -hmm. Completely common. We don't do that anymore. I mean, some people are getting more back to that, and that's good. You know, but it's like, well, but my machine wants to drive straight. And then there's you know, strip farming and things like that, and we're kind of getting off gardening. But strip farming is you know, planting a, 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 like a catch crop or something like that in between maybe your main crops, um, which is a good idea. It can help. But essentially, gardening and farming on contour reduces erosion, uh, increases soil infiltration of water, all good stuff. Um, it, for those that farm, if you look at farmers that are farming straight, just based on machinery, and they've got hilly area, they have an incredible increase in erosion. And it's just massive increase in erosion. Okay, so real quick on uh, xeriscaping. It's good stuff. Plan and design comprehensively. I mean, that's that basically that's permaculture right there. We take all the elements and put them together and help them work together synergistically. Um, evaluate soil and improve if necessary. Wow, we should all be doing this. We all need to be soil cultivators of the soil. I don't care if we're gardeners or farmers or, or ranchers or, or whatever else. We need to be cultivators of the soil. And so, and part of that is evaluating what you have and what you need. Uh, and, and again, it's just appropriate plants. I mean, uh, for your area. I and mean, we're not, you know, we try and grow mango trees here in North Idaho that require massive amounts of water and a little bit warmer uh, environment. Good. We have a Meyer lemon growing up upstairs, and uh, um, I love wall the idea of wallapini, and we may do that here someday too. Uh, water efficiently, soaking, drip, irrigation, uh, organic mulch, 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 of course, and then, uh, yeah, and then maintain appropriately.